Hola! Welcome to Stella School. Today I'm going to be teaching you all of my hair expertise. Anyways, hi Stella, what advice would you give for yourself? Hi, um, I would tell Stella to cut her hair because it's really, really, really damaged. Today I'm giving hair advice to my viewers. Hi, how are you? So this video stemmed because one of my viewers decided to send me an email on my personal email. Please don't do that, by the way. <laughs> that is mainly for collabs. But anyway, she sent me an email asking for hair help. She asked what kind of a hairstyle would be suitable for her. Which got me thinking, you know, I'm here doing videos and I'm here trying to give my best kind of a image as to how to do a hairstyle, but I never kind of addressed the fact, what if it doesn't suit you? So today I'm going to be giving personalized hair advice to anyone who asked, because I then went on Instagram and said, if you have any hair questions, ask. Coney Boss, <laughs> if that's your name, that's really cool. But anyways, um, said, hi Stella, I love your YouTube videos. Oh, thank you. She said, I've changed my hair a lot through these years, but now I'm stuck with plain, boring, long, dark hair. And I was wondering if you could help me find a new look since you are so good at this. Let's do this. Very, very pretty, by the way. You're very gorgeous. That is true. It does kind of look like it's simple dark long hair i don't mind it though it looks really cute and it really looks good with your face shape however if you do want to change it up a bit i honestly wouldn't touch the color i think it looks so stunning as it is and it complements your complexion very well but the ends do kind of look a bit thin which might indicate that you need a haircut not just a trim i'm saying hair cut I think a long bob just past your shoulders would look so so cool and it would make your look hair look so much fuller but also kind of giving your face shape. If you do want to try color, opt for blue. I would just go for like a blue end so it would be like a black to blue, really dark blue ombre. From Marie Ke. <laughs> gorgeous lady says that's my current hair color dark ash blonde i'm really bored and i want to dye but i don't know what color i'm thinking a nice dark coolish brown um also maybe sunk is balayage what do you think i need to stalk you i'm gonna stalk people oh you're so cute you've got very very gorgeous eyes but they're also very cool eyes like here yeah okay which makes me think maybe something less sun-kissed more ashy would look really 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 good especially with your skin tone because it's kind of fair what i'm thinking is kind of silver highlights because it would complement your eyes really nice god you're so pretty i love your eyes i like the haircut though i really like the haircut Volvastic Saru says, can you please see my pictures and suggest me what color I should dye my hair and some hairstyles? Hi girl! You know what I would actually suggest is actually I think um, her hair is like level 2 or 3, maybe even a 3, um, which means it's kind of like a medium brown, in which case I would actually recommend going black all the way give very much of a of a kind of contrast but also kind of more of an exotic dark beauty look also i would part your hair down the middle parting the hair down the middle i think is such a um a mature kind of thing to do i think when you part your hair down the middle you're kind of just exposing your face more which is why it's you know kind of associated with looking a bit more mature sort of so i would definitely do that i think you'd look cute Vanessa Vanessa asks, what treatments do you recommend for dry and frizzy hair? Um, she tried both Olaplex and Keratin. But we like something different. Um, Olaplex isn't going to help frizziness. Olaplex is a damage treatment more than a frizzy treatment. So it would make your hair softer, but it will not get rid of the frizz. Keratin, however, should have done the trick. <laughs> but if it didn't work, or if they're not working, maybe try stay away from these permanent treatments and instead opt for hair products. Uh, there are a lot of lot of like kind of styles that you could do around frizzy hair, and all you'd need is kind of either a wax or a hairspray to kind of just make them behave. 
wait right there. You could take either a hairspray. Hairspray is a very good kind of a solution for baby hairs and frizz and anything, but it does kind of leave the hair a bit crispy. But it's very, very good if you want to do, let's say, a high ponytail or braids. More for braids, I would recommend that while you're still braiding the hair, you'd add something like this. This is a style spray wax. So basically, it's a liquidized wax. You could use either something like this. This is kind of extreme. This is my wig glue. I know you can use it as a gel if you want to. It's very, very strong and I'd recommend it only if you have super, super frizzy hair and again, maybe only for ponytails and braids, not really for an everyday look. Pretty, oh, you are pretty. How to get smooth hair. Okay, we just been over this. If you haven't tried keratin, however, try it out. It's kind of a good treatment. Fab Coley, she asks, I have tons of baby hair. My forehead is already small and those baby hair makes it even smaller. Is it a good idea to cut them off? No, no, they are not. <laughs> they are not a good idea to cut them off because I once did that over here, this thing right here. I went with my scissors and I chopped them off, which is probably the worst thing ever because when they were growing out, they very much looked like I just shaved my hair which was a terrible, terrible idea because growing them out was a pain. What you could do instead of just letting them be is style them. Grab some gel either on this sort of a brush or even an old toothbrush and you could basically lay down your edges and they will stay and not bother you. Otherwise, if they really are bothering you and you think that your forehead does look drastically different, lay mousse on them on your hair like so that you push them up and lay a silk wrap around it that is going to lay them flat and they're not gonna move how to have silky hair and any recommendations for choosing a hair product basically i really really believe in the power of hair masks i think they do wonders for the hair and they are amazing i can't really give you a list of like products because everyone is going to find different things i really love the hairfinity one i loved the tony and guy one this is by arwal a good tip to see what kind of a hair mask is better the runnier it is means the more water it has in it which means it's probably going to work less what do you use for your hairs before any style or treatments to prevent damage I really believe in putting products on your hair before you dry it because I think that humidity is a very terrible thing to go through in life and Malta is a very humid place so I always prefer to put something on my hair to weigh it down. I use a combination of three products because one is not enough. I use this one by Milkshake, it's whipped cream, it's actually empty so... <laughs> I mix that with the Hairfinity Revitalizing Leave-In Conditioner. This thing is amazing, but it smells even better, so... Finally, the Hairfinity Nourishing Botanical Oil. I love this stuff, and I mix all three in my palm while my hair is still wet on my hair, and then I dry it, and it makes my hair softer and less frizzy. Yeah! Hi, Stella. I love your work. I am in desperate need of your advice. Recently went to the salon and dyed my hair ginger hair color from dark brown after lighting with bleach. My problem is that I find it too much neon. I personally love, 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 love the color. I love the color. I go brighter, <laughs> honestly. It does look like it's just a tad bit too light. You are going to go back to your hairdresser, ask to see if she could do something on a level five, which is kind of like a medium brown. If she could mix a brown with a copper of that same level, it would dilute the whole copper look and darken up the entire color to end up looking like this. Otherwise, I'd actually just go even more copper looks so good it looks incredible i have really dark and thick brown hair and i really want to cut it till my shoulders but i'm worried it'll look too puffy for unnatural hair that might be a bit of an issue so either go for a more layered look um, and don't cut it too short it would instead of laying kind of flat it would give more of a rounded hair cut look otherwise cut it a bit longer so that you won't you know suffer from what i call the poodle effect around your shoulder neck area my red hair keeps fading so does mine sweetie so does mine i can't really help you there red is just the least attachable color ever it will always fade it will never stay because red is just it's just not a powerful color enough to stay in the hair you could do however some red toners there exists like ready-made ready colored pigmented like 
conditioners to just put on your red hair and it just vibrates up your red hair. You do this yourself in the shower. You have to wear gloves because it stains everything. Hey Stella, I always wanted to dye my hair balayage but never got decided on the color. What do you suggest for my curly hair? I am going to stalk you. What is your name? Oh, this account is private. Okay, I'm just gonna stalk your... Can I stalk the... Mm. From what I could see, you've got very, very ringlet curls. I would not suggest going anything lighter than a caramel. I really, really like browns melting into a caramel, melting into coppers, something along those lines. Otherwise, wouldn't really touch it. Amelia, do you imagine me in shoulder length hair? Or do you prefer it as it is? I'm gonna stalk you and I'll let you know. Do you see that sass, Amelia? Um, shoulder and I ah, ooh, ooh, no, girl, no, stay. You know what I imagine though? All red, all, oh, no, burgundy. Oh my God. Can you imagine this hair, but all burgundy? But otherwise, I wouldn't really touch it, except maybe give it a trim, because it looks just a tad bit dry at the ends. But otherwise, leave it long, because it's sassy, and it's got Shabba power. Arcane Queen says, how to survive growing out a pixie cut? Mm, I wouldn't know, I never had one. But you know what? Wigs. Thank you all for tuning in on this episode of Learning with Stella. Or School with Stella. I already forgot what name it is. I hope you got an idea for what kind of a thing to do for your hair. Maybe these could help. You guys, or, or maybe not, maybe this is just a waste of time, but it was might have been entertaining. I hope this would have been of some use to you. I did try to educate you as much as possible. Cool, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you'll give it a go, and I will see you in my next video.